We head over to Darling Stadium now. Phoebus Phantoms, they've won three straight Division V state championships, taking on the North Stafford Wolverines, Northwest champions. And North Stafford starts things off on offense with their quarterback, Andrew Grieve, throwing over the middle. It's complete. And look at Grieve again. Got a man. It's the tight end, Gary Nelson, with the catch. And North Stafford's offense, not daunted at all by the Phoebus defense early on in this one. And they run the football. Anthony Shigog with a touchdown. Tying things up here at 7 all with 9.39 to go in the first quarter. Extra point is good for North Stafford. Excuse me, 9.39 to go in the second quarter as we are deadlocked here. Phoebus loves to run the football and their defense will put pressure on you. But North Stafford, again, not phased at all as they used a lot of short passes and ran the ball up the middle on that Phoebus defense. But you see a big hit there by Justin Boombox Lyles and his teammates for Phoebus there on that defense. And North Stafford is forced to punt, but it's going to be a muff punt as Phoebus is unable to haul this one in, and the ball will stay with North Stafford here. So North Stafford with a chance to grab the lead here on the road at Darling Stadium, a place that Phoebus has loved and usually won at. And it's a touchdown for North Stafford as they score on the 27-yard touchdown pass from Austin Greed to Anthony Shigog. Extra point is good. Wolverines up 14-7, approaching halftime. Phoebus will get things going with the passing game. Eric Anderson stepping up in the pocket. Throws complete to Giawantes Featherston, one of the key receivers for the Phantoms, complimenting Ramon Deloach and Featherston with a huge gainer, putting Phoebus in position to score here nearing the break. It's Anderson going deep, and there's his big time playmaker, Ramon Deloach, with an unbelievable catch. He's great on those jump ball lobs as Phoebus is now inside the five, and then they get inside the five. You give it to number five, Tony Pittman. He closes the deal on that drive for Phoebus, which was a seven-play, 80-yard drive that used up only a minute 47. Touchdown by Pittman. The extra point by Dylan Krimp is good. And we go to halftime, all tied up at 14-all with the Phantoms and the Wolverines. North Stafford has the ball now. Kevin Daniels is their big-time ball carrier. He runs, and look at him go. Hard to catch when he gets full head of steam. And North Stafford driving on that Phoebus defense, which has been tough all season long. Austin Greed. Throwing downfield, intercepted though by Deshaun Summers in the end zone. He's been getting key takeaways all year long for the Phantoms. Made that play at the end of the game against Norton in the region championship to save the day for Phoebus, seeking its fourth straight state championship. And Anderson this time is sacked by that North Stafford defense, which collapsed all afternoon long with linebackers Andrew Sly and Cody Farrell and company. Daniels though, not afraid to run up the middle on that Phoebus defense as you see coach Stan Sexton and his staff trying to win another close game here. It's going down to the wire, and North Stafford will take a field goal here. 37 yards by Greed. It is good, so North Stafford has punched ahead 17 to 14. We go ahead to the fourth quarter now. Anderson needing to drive the team down the field to win again. Phoebus is used to coming back in the fourth quarter. He completes it to the Deloach, and then it's Tony Pittman running the football hard. What a game he had, 37 carries for 179 yards and three touchdowns. Anderson, another third and fourth down. He's good at completing these, as he showed it here, finding Featherstone on third down to move the chains again. Phoebus facing a fourth down, they get it done. Third down, they get it done, and here, a touchdown. With 22 seconds to play, Miles Givers catches it. Extra point, however, is blocked by Andrew Sly, so Phoebus is up 20 to 17 now. 22 seconds to play, unsportsmanlike penalty gives North Stafford a chance to have great field position and the kickoff, as you see Phoebus's kicker slips there, and North Stafford will get the ball around midfield with a chance here to maybe get in position for a game-tying field goal against the Phantoms. It's Greed looking for a man into tight coverage, and somehow it's pulled in. Completion there, and now it sets up the game-tying field goal, and it is no good from 46 yards out. Phoebus celebrates, they're a winner, but hold on a second. They call a 15-yard roughing the center penalty, so Phoebus will get another shot at it here. I'm sorry, North Stafford will get another shot at it here against Phoebus, and it's green from 31 yards out, and this time it is good, so Phoebus is shell-shocked, going to overtime 20 0 after they thought they won the football game, but they have a chance to win it now in overtime, and Tony Pittman's the guy you give it to. Pittman, five-yard touchdown run. Phantoms back in the lead. Dylan Crimp's extra point this time is not blocked. It is good. 27 to 20, Phoebus on top. North Stafford's first overtime possession. It's Greed trying to find a man open, and he's got him. 
Brandon Revenel, six yard touchdown. So North Stafford, an extra point away from another overtime or a two point conversion away from winning and ending Phoebus' season. Here it is, two point play. Reeb will keep it. He is tackled and he is just short. Referee says he is down and Phoebus wins. They are going to continue on in these state playoffs. Now a victory away from a fourth consecutive state championship. Another thrilling, dramatic finish for the Phantoms and Coach Joe Mangana for North Stafford. Very disgusted with the call. He thought his man was in. Nonetheless, Phoebus keeps it going. 27 to 26, 19 straight playoff wins for the Phantoms. And Tony Pittman, 37 carries, 179 yards, and three touchdown runs in the win. He's been terrific here in these playoffs. Group AAA Division 5 state championship game. It's Phoebus at 12-2 taking on South County. Winners of 11 in a row after that 0-3 start. That'll be December the 10th at Scott Stadium in Charlottesville. And you can catch the AAA state championship games right here on Cox Channel 11, Saturday, December the 10th, Division 5 at noon, Division 6 at 4 here on Cox Channel 11.